was I supposed to talk about again? Wait, I got it, I got it. Hey, how you doing? This is Jared Ames with Cinema 5D, and I've got Zeiss's newest compact prime lens. Uh, the one I got is a Canon EF mount. It's also available in PL mount and Nikon mount. These are the best lenses you can get for full frame HDSLR work. Uh, it's almost a 360 degree rotation with the focus marks. That's awesome. It also has a manual iris, which we use in cinema from time to time. Um, it's a uniform front, which is 114 mil, which is great when you've got to use a matte box. That way you're not changing out donuts or rings. And, you know, like I said, you can change this to PL mount if you end up moving up cameras one of these days. Uh, it also has a little quarter 20 thread on the one that I've got here, and that'll support the lens, but it's really lightweight, as you can see. Um, so I wouldn't worry about putting it on the bayonet mount on a Canon camera too much. Um, this lens will cost you a little bit over 3,500 bucks, but we think it's well worth it if you're using these in a professional cinema application. What we did with this one is uh, basically to control image quality at wide open, we now have limited the uh, maximum aperture on both the 50 and 85 millimeters to T21. And we've done that through the use of a, uh, of a baffle, if you will. So we, we limit the maximum opening to, to uh, T21. And what that's done is to give us uh, better sharpness, better image resolution from the center out to the edges, a little less vignetting at the corners, and a uh, uh, little better flare control than what you'll see uh, compared to the previous generation Compact Prime at T15. It also gives us the, the benefit of marketing a, a, a set of lenses at T21 between 28 and what we've announced uh, up to 100 millimeters, which will all be T2.1. Can you tell us a little bit about the 100 millimeter lens that you guys just announced? Is that a macro? No, it won't be a macro. It'll be a close focus lens. So the, uh, uh, we have a 100 macro in the ZE and the, Z, and the ZF2 line, which is a close focus. Uh, Basically, it's half life size, so it's a one to two, and the same thing with the 50 macro. Um, so we we announced both of those uh, both of those lenses at uh, NAB in 2010. They'll be shown at the IBC show in Amsterdam, and we'll be uh, releasing it uh, shortly thereafter. I'm expecting the first inventory to arrive in November. So both lenses will be T21. A 50 macro will be a close focus, uh, one to two, and the 100 millimeter will be what we consider a. Uh, a close focus lens. And what it, what it focuses to, I, I don't know at this point. I'm still waiting to see the spec.